Okay, so right now I'm replacing my Rainbird sprinkler head with a drip system. So I've got this four port manifold that I want to use. I recommend using this kind because it's really easy to twist on and off any of the extra little hose valves if you don't use them. So I can use just one or I can use all four pretty easily. Now I've dug up my sprinkler. My sprinkler was right here and I dug it up. And in the process of digging it up, I twisted off the little valve inside here on accident. But normally this piece would have just twisted right off with the sprinkler head. So I tossed that aside. I don't need it anymore. Now that sprinkler was kind of low on the ground as you can see. So I got one of these risers. And this is something that you can use a hacksaw, uh, possibly even a PVC cutter to uh, shorten if you need. But I think the whole length will be needed for this project. And I'm just going to go ahead and screw that in first. Get that nice and tight. Okay. Make sure you dig a hole big enough to give yourself some room to get all the pipes tightened and everything nice and good to go. If you have um, debris and dirt inside the little hole where you need to screw that, you can use a spray bottle on like the jet stream to push small rocks and debris out just by shooting it a couple times and blasting out the tiny rocks and that's what I did. So I had nice clear threads and I get this in. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my manifold and make sure the little pieces assembled in there already. Most of them come pre-assembled but not all of them. And you go ahead and screw it right on top here. That simple. So I just screw the manifold in. Easy as that. Alright, so as soon as I've got my manifold in, I can go ahead and cut hoses that just slide right on here. I'll unscrew that, slide the hose in, and you can get hose in all kinds of different little sizes and colors actually at your home improvement store. And then you go ahead and secure them with staples. And this is a non-adjustable manifold. You can get adjustable manifolds. They're a little bit more expensive and you can control how... Uh, harder fast the water comes through here so you can make it do a true drip. I've made sure everything I've landscaped in this area has a very similar water need so I can just run it for a short amount of time if I want it to run uh, kind of like a drip system over it over here so I didn't need to control the pressure coming out of these but you can buy pressurized ones that are slightly more expensive and adjustable if that suits your needs better. Uh, which might be best if you have lots of different types of plants with different water needs in the same area being fed off the same manifold. Okay, so it's really that easy. I'm just going to backfill with dirt, cover it all back up nice, and replace my rocks. Attach the hoses just by sticking them right on the edge here after I unscrew the little black cap. And secure them with the, uh, the lawn staples. It's really that easy. Um, let's see. Also, not all of the sprinklers in this area did I want to turn into a drip system. Some of them I really just wanted to cap off, which I've done over here. Um, I don't know if you can see, there's a little shade right here. Um, let's see. There we go. So this one, I didn't bury it yet, but I dug up the sprinkler head and then I just twisted on a little PVC cap. I believe that's half inch and it twisted right onto the little black piece, the piece that I had previously told you I broke off inside of my sprinkler. Right here, if you're going to be capping, you probably want to leave that in and that's actually what the cap secured to because it's male to male in and the irrigation piping is a female opening deep down inside there. Alright, well I hope you found that helpful. Be sure to check out my other videos for more do-it-yourself.